I'm gonna invite Victoria uh, and Phil Hostetter if they would come forward now along this theme of families and children. Uh, recognize that as they launch into the very school years, it also is God claims the children of believers in a unique way from birth. Uh, we read that very clearly through Old and New Testament. Uh, and that our children are not just uh, the church of the future, but they are the church right now. Uh, and so I, I give you this verse from Deuteronomy 7, verse 9. Uh, which says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who keep his commands. Um, he is a faithful God. He's a generational God. Uh, and we find the pattern that God, when he revealed himself to Abraham, said, I want to be a God to you, but also to your children after you. We find the pattern in the New Testament that they brought the whole household under the blessing of God. Uh, and the authorization of that we find even in the way Jesus lived his life, that children were not a, uh, certainly not a nuisance, they were definitely not an afterthought. But in, in, in the life of one who was never busier or more important than Jesus, um, he stopped for the children. His disciples actually rebuked him <laughs> and he had to rebuke them and he said, suffer not the little children to come unto me for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And then he actually picked them up and he blessed them. Uh, and the word for children seems to be the most diminutive term for children. It's like, like the little ones who maybe even were just still crawling or just still infants. Our Lord Jesus picked them up into his arms and blessed them. And so what you were doing this morning before this body and in this body is declaring that your children and particularly uh, Haley Allison um, is a gift from God. And you're dedicating her to the one who gave her to you. And I want you just to think back like uh, in the life of your children, the day that you first held them in your arms, there's that sense of awe and wonder like what heaven, what God the Father has dropped into your arms to raise. Uh, I'm gonna invite you to, to make these commitments and to answer uh, I do. Um, and they're simply questions of your commitment. And then I'm gonna ask you, the congregation, for your commitment to help in raising these children in the Lord, uh, and particularly, and then I'm gonna put a sign with anointing oil on, on Haley Allison. Um, we give you this book, the Jesus Storybook Bible, also, for you to keep and instruct her out of, where every story whispers the name of Jesus. Um, but Philip and Victoria, you can answer by saying I do, but do you acknowledge uh, your children's, and particularly Haley Allison's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit. Do. do you claim God's covenant promises on Haley's behalf? Uh, and do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for her salvation, even as you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for your own salvation? Do. And then do you now unreservedly dedicate Haley to God? and promise in humble reliance upon divine grace that you will pray with and for her and teach her uh, the doctrines of our holy faith and strive by all the means of God's appointment to bring Haley up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Praise God. Now for you, the congregation. And again, you fulfill this in a number of ways, by learning the names of the next generation, by caring, by noticing, by showing up, by staffing, by resourcing and providing uh, every means of their experience of the body of Christ today. And we count on that as a congregation. We really could not go forward without that intergenerational connection, uh, declaring what one generation has learned and known and experienced to the next generation together. And so I'm gonna ask you to respond by saying we do. Do you as a congregation and Christian friends and family undertake the responsibility of assisting these parents in the Christian nurture of these children? It is, is a great honor, and I know you have some generations here today, and I know I was able to be at uh, a memorial service for your grandfather, your great-grandfather, and the testimony of clear Christian faith from generation to generation is a tremendous and awesome gift. Uh, it is precious in the sight of God. Uh, but we also know that God doesn't have grandchildren. Each person must come to know him Haley, you get to know him directly. Uh, you learn of him through your parents, through your grandparents, great-grandparents. But ultimately, uh, Jesus is for you. 
and for you to discover. And so that's why we pray for you. Uh, and we pray for your own experience of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so um, ultimately, I, I have this anointing oil. It actually has come all the way from Jerusalem <laughs> because we are citizens of the heavenly kingdom. We're looking forward to the new Jerusalem that will come down to heaven and fill this universe. Um, and so Haley, Allison, Hostetter, I place this sign upon you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Join me in praying for Haley. Lord God, thank you for the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit and the shed blood of Jesus Christ, which makes a wide open welcome for all of us. And there is none of us who stands outside of that need, however young, however innocent. We pray for Haley that you would set her apart, that you would protect her body, soul, and spirit, that you would protect her from the world, from her own remaining sin, and from the evil one himself, place a shield over her, a mighty shield. And we pray that she and her sister uh, would be a strong bond of faith and a testimony that will contend against the unbelief of the surrounding world and even the unbelief in their own generation. May they be like Daniel 12, 3. May, they, may their witness shine like the stars forever and ever and lead many to righteousness. We pray for Phil and Victoria as we pray for all of our parents that they would be a band of brothers and sisters dedicated to raising their children counterculturally to live out the beauty and the glory and yes, even the cost of what it means to follow Jesus. And we give you the praise and we wait in expectation for what you will do in this coming generation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.